Okay, so... First thing to do is to center, just like you do a dog dish. Except, when you center these, you're going to center them a little bit higher. Use about a pound and a quarter, maybe even about a pound and a half of clay. Open the clay up to the depth that you want, just like the dog dish is. Check it with the needle tool. You gotta adjust that. About a quarter of an inch. Open up to the width that you want. Not quite as wide as the uh, dog dishes. You're gonna compress the floor in the same fashion. You're gonna do the same kind of pull. The first pull is gonna be the same kind as the dog dish. But everything after this is different. What you're going to start out doing is you're going to take your finger on the outside and make a little bit of a ridge there at the base. And uh, when you get good at doing these pulls, you're not going to need to intentionally make this little ridge. It'll just be one continuous movement. But I want you guys to do this very intentionally, make this ridge. And the reason is it gives you a guideline on where to place your fingers. On the outside, your fingers go underneath the ridge. On the inside, your fingers are going to be right about you know, this high. It's going to be where this is coming out. And they're going to be right here just on this side of your fingers, okay, on the outside. And the reason for this, the reason for the finger placement is what's happening when you have your fingers like this is the fingers on the inside are holding this rigid clay out and above the fingers on the outside so the fingers on the outside can lift or pull the clay to the top. Okay? So that when you do the pull, you're going to keep that little ridge of clay all the way to the top. And if you notice, the clay, just like the dog dishes, is coming up and in. Once again, make your little ridge of clay. in as far as you want it and you don't want it to come in anymore but you still have clay at the base that you need to break up bring up or if you're at your last pull and you have clay that is at that base and you need to get it out and you're having trouble what you do instead of bringing the clay making that ridge from the outside like I was doing instead you put your fingers here but you're not going to apply pressure in from the outside you're actually going to take and apply pressure from the inside out to make your rigid clay. And then this is just the same, you just carry that all the way to the top. notice every time I make a pull I'm taking care of that room right use your wooden rib straighten up the form take care of your rim take your wooden knife cut the foot 